Okay, logged into the Valiant Universe. Check. Exo Man of War, issue number one, selected. And begin review. Written by Dennis Hopeless Hallam, with art by Emilio Lazo, colors by Ruth Redman, and letters by Hassan Otsmani Ilohau. And this issue begins with Eric, Exo Man of War, destroying a spaceship of an alien and bringing the wreckage down to Earth safely, but placing it in the middle of a busy highway, garnering negative media coverage, while at this moment, a man and an alien creature are watching the news, intrigued by Eric. We then cut to Eric in Harlem, playing basketball with some of the local kids when one of their mothers approaches and threatens Eric to stay away from everyone. Eric, talking with his suit's AI, Shanahara, who says Eric needs to act more human, which includes having nice clothes and a home. Eric scoffs and flies to Canada where he hunts a deer to take back for food, choosing to share it with the homeless population when Shanahara locates something over the Hudson River which Eric finds a rocket that he commandeers. However, it turns out the rocket was no threat, and the media follows Eric, who destroys the rocket, but miscalculates the fallout, which ends up coming down in front of a car on the run from the police. Eric stops the vehicle and empties it out to find Desmond, one of the kids he played basketball with. Eric then moves to reason with the police, who begin to shoot, which only angers Eric as he disarms them. We then come to Desmond's mom, horrified at what she's seeing on the news when Desmond runs in the house right to his room. Desmond's mother then finds Eric in her doorway who apologizes about the car and promises to fix it. Desmond's mom shows gratitude for saving her son by hugging Eric and telling him he's gonna live with them from now on. Later on, Eric is trying to fix the car when the homeless woman he fed earlier offers to help as she worked on cars in her youth when Shanahara informs Eric of an incident in Ukraine which Eric arrives and disarms everyone. All is going well until he is blasted from behind in a sneak attack to reveal the alien from earlier who tells Eric the war's over and he loses. And yeah, Exo Man of War I think was a super fun read and a really good start to the story. Because there's a lot of things that I really like overall. Like for one, I like the banter between Eric and Shanahara as to me it almost would be kind of like having Thor with Tony's Jarvis AI. Well, Jarvis with a little more attitude because Shanahara is very sassy for AI and Eric is stern. It was also interesting to see things like, say, the media coverage of Eric at the beginning and then, of course, throughout the issue, where they're constantly just making him look as bad as possible, even though he is trying to do his best to help humanity. And when we first meet Desmond's mother, it seems that she's kind of on that train of believing he's volatile, he's dangerous, and should really just leave everyone alone. But then the end of the issue comes where she's seeing the incident that happened with her son on the news and she feels like, you know, that's being misrepresented, therefore Eric is being misrepresented. And after saving her son, decides to welcome him with open arms into their home. Which it's really nice to see Eric uh, building camaraderie with the people in the neighborhood, which I feel like might actually come to play here uh, maybe somewhere within this story or within future issues. I would say the only thing to consider with this particular story is that even though this is a number one issue, this is a continuation from the previous volume. And so newcomers might not feel quite as welcome opening these pages, wondering, you know, who Eric is exactly, where the suit came from, what the vine is all things you would have need to have read the previous volume for. So I would recommend if you are interested in the new Exo Man of War to check that out before diving into this, unless you really don't care and just wanna read some good superhero brawling. Because I think that this is a relatively badass book overall and really does remind me that I love the Valiant Universe. And I'm going to say that Exo Man of War issue number one gets the epic gold medal. So Exo Man of War issue number one, have you read this book? I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring that notification bell for more comic book content. And if you're wondering what to watch next, consider one of these two videos. Alright, take care, have a great day, and as always, stay geeky.